start on my mic. All right. Um, welcome, student. Um, this is Mori Peter, your boy. Welcome to the other procession of my teaching. Um, we want to take a look at a graph and we want to answer some past questions on Becker 2010. The first question we are answering here is this, using the scale of 2 cm to 1 unit on the x axis and 2 cm to 2 units on the y axis. Draw the graph of y is equal to 4x plus 1. Find the value, we say from the value of x from minus 2 to plus 3. B, find the value of x. Find y is equal to 7. C. Use your graph to find the gradient of the line y is equal to 4x plus 1. In this video, I will teach you how to solve these graph questions using the alternative method. And if we are using the alternative method, we have to draw four boxes. Let's say for instance, we have this one. Alright. We want to take this relation to say y is equal to 4x plus 1. Let's draw. We have to draw four boxes. That is, we have to draw four rows and of course according to the column. We'll take this one like this. Let's see. Let's see this one. Now, the value in the first box, remember, the first box, the value for b was x. And the last one, the value must be y. We want to put this a relation now into these two brackets here. You are seeing, sorry, these two boxes you are seeing. Here will be 4x, and here will be plus 1. But then the question say, for the value of x from minus 2 to plus 3. So straight off, we start from minus 2 and end at plus 3. Minus 2, minus 1. We take 0 here, we take 1, we take 2, and we take 3. Alright then. Now the first logic you have to solve this question. How do you solve this question? You are seeing 4x. This one means multiply all the value of x by 4. Multiply all the value of x by 4. That is, multiply this 4 by minus 2. 4 by minus 1 and so on. Now, we say 4 times minus 2, we take plus, plus times minus, we write the minus first. 4 times 2, we write 8. We write the minus because plus minus, we have minus. 4 times 1, we have 4. 4 times 0, we have 0. 4 times 1 is 1. 4 times 2, we take 8. 4 times 3, and we have 12. That's the first step you do. After the first step, you cannot do the other step. That is, this one is a constant in this relation. For us to get a value, we use a constant throughout. Meaning here is plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one here, plus one, plus one. All right. The next thing to do, try to compare the numbers and get the value for x. How do you compare the numbers? Compare this and this, you get this value. Minus 8 plus 1, you have 1. Minus 7. Minus 4 plus 1 here, you have minus 3. 0 plus 1, you have 1. 1. And we have something like uh, this one to be 4, because 4 times 1, we have 4. So 4 plus 1 here, we have 5. 8 plus 1, we have 9. 12 plus 1, and we have 13. All right, that's the first thing to do. That's the first thing. The other thing, you have this information. You have this information. We want to take this information now, we plot it on a graph. Yeah. All right, welcome back again. Now we have solved this. We want to take this information here, back on the graph. But when you are plotting a graph, there are certain things you need to understand. Look here, for the x axis, we have positive 3, which is the highest. And for the y axis, we have positive 13, which is the highest again. 
In this question, it says, for the y value here, you still have to give more space than the negative value. That is what? Plus or minus 7. Now, always, for your graph, it is what? Linear graph. Linear graph, it is straight line graph. For better level. Or at times, we can see coordinate graph. But for this graph, it is what? Linear graph. All right. So we take from here to here, this one is just two centimeter of each graph book you have. Mine is just, I am just presuming that it's just, it is not drawn to a scale. I only want to teach this graph so that you understand it. This one is two centimeter. You have your graph, measure that thick line from this other thick line is two centimeter. So for each question, this is two and from here to here is 10. We have 10 by 24. That is what? 10 by 12. We have 10 by 12 here. And from here to here is 10. Always divide this into two equal parts. Now you count the boxes, five of these boxes. One, two, three, four, five. So we have to draw the value here. One, two, three, four, five. We have to draw this one to be the value for x. Um, to determine x, yeah. Now, we are using a scale of 2 cm, 2 cm to 2 units on the x axis and to two, on the y axis. That is, we now count 2, 2 units. That is, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Why? Because the highest here is 13. And we can find 14 under 13. That is why we are using this. That is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Then the origin here, 0. So you can easily draw your line. Ask the y line. That is x as is. So this is x, and here is y. So we take this one to be the origin. This one is the origin. After that, what do we do? For x as is, we have what? 1, 1 units. We have to take 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. All right then. After that, what do you do? For the y value now, you are asked to use two 2 units. What do you do? From 0 upwards for the y as is what? The positive area. So we take this one to be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Here now we take again minus 2, minus 4, minus 6, and we can minus this one to be minus 8 because we want to be, take a look at minus 7. Alright then. After that, what do we do now? We want to take this information on the graph. That is, on the x axis, minus 2 on the x axis, minus 7 on the y axis. For the x axis, look at minus 2. Meaning this particular line going upwards is a minus 2 line. So we want to see where the minus 2 line and the minus 7 line intersect. Look at minus 2. Where can we find minus 7 here? We can find minus 7 between minus 6 and 8. So what do we do? You have smaller line in your graph book. You have to count each one is by units. From here to here you have 10 smaller lines. So if you are dividing 10 by 2, you have what? 5. So count 5 smaller lines here. From here, you now start to count. The other line, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So straight off, this is where we can find minus 7. Draw this line where it intercepts minus 2. Meaning minus 2 here. You make your mark. Meaning minus 2, minus 7 on the y-axis intercepts here. You make a mark. Alright then. The next thing... Minus 1 on the x axis, minus 3 on the y axis. Look at minus 1 on the x axis. Here we don't see minus 3, but we can find minus 3 between minus 2 and minus 4. So if so, we have to count again as usual. That is, you have to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Run this line towards minus 1, meaning this is where minus 2. One line is. You make a map. At the end of the day, you still see the marking points as in a straight order. That is a straight line. 
But let's continue doing. We take 0 on the x axis and of course what? 1. 0 means what? The origin. So no need for you to just do any other thing wrong. Just take where you can see y axis where you can see 1 on the origin. That's all. Look at 0. Where can we find 1 on the y axis? 1 is between 0 and 2. So here again, after this thick line, you have to count how many? 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the origin here, just make your mark like this. Here. So this is where it intercepts. The next thing to do again, we still go back. 1 on the x axis, 5 on the y axis. Look at positive 1. We can find positive 5 on the y axis between 6 and 4. So after that, from here we count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So meaning we still run this line towards 1. one. You can see this one. one. So meaning this is where it meets. The next thing to do, we still take 2 on the x axis, 9 on the y axis. Look at 2 here. We can find 9 between 10 and what? 8. So here again, the same thing you do. See, after this thick line again, you count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you run this line towards where you can find 2. So let's say over here, this is where 2 and of course, and 5 is a set. Sorry, 2 and 9 is a set. The next thing is what? 3. 3 and of course, 13. We can find 3 here. Is that okay? 13 is between 12 and 14. So now we run this thing again. From here again, we have to count this line. Here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Run this line towards 3. 3. Let's say this is where the line intersects. Alright. Now, we can see this one is a straight line. But the question says, draw the line. So meaning we want to draw this point from here. Please do not mind this blackboard. But it is just something I just want to teach. You will understand. So meaning this line will be straight. So use your ruler, please. You draw your line straighter like this. Don't mind this blackboard. Don't mind this blackboard. Don't mind it as I say. Alright. Alright, as you can see, this one is a straight line. That's the linear graph. After that, what do you do? This line is the line we call as what? Y is equal to 4x plus 1. You can write it anywhere. Whether you write it here, there, any area. For you to tell the examiner that this line is 4, y is equal to 4x plus 1. Alright then, the next question for B. B says, find the value of x when y is equal to 7. So we write, when, when y is equal to 7, x and y is equal to. We are moving back to the graph. Where can we find minus um, plus 7 under x? 7 is between 6 and 8. You count now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You are dividing. So meaning, you run this line where it means this line you called initial. That is here. Meaning, here is where the line is. So the value downwards, the value downwards, determine the value for x. That is, let's move this one downwards. Let's move it. So meaning, x at the middle of 1 and 2. So the value of x is what? 1. Point five. If your graph is on an actual scale, your answer will be 1.5. That is from 1. That smaller line going upward, the vertical line will be 5. From here, 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Is that okay? So if your graph is in the actual scale, you have 1.5 for the value of x. Now let's solve the last one. Using your graph, find the gradient of the line. Gradients mean what? We want to see how this graph slope or how the graph cut in all axis. The gradient. But we have a formula here. That is gradient here will be this is C. Gradient is equal to y1 minus y2 all upon x1 minus x2. Alright then. How do we find this on the graph? We pay attention. Let's take a look at this point. From this point, a graph slope to this point. From this point again, it slope to this point. So we are marking those points at a time. From here, the graph slope here. What am I going to do from here? 
So the value of this one will be what? The first one will be y1. What I'm going to do? And downwards will be what? Downwards here will be x1. So the y1 here is what? The value there is what? 7 or 5? That is what? 5. Because 5 is between 4 and 6. So the y1 here is 5. And the x1 here is what? 1. So from this point again, the graph still slope to this point. From this point, the graph go up again to this point. So let's look against it again. From here, this is what? Y2 here now. So the value of Y2 is what? 9. And the value of X2 here is what? 2. So we mean, meaning here we have Y2 here is what? 9. And X2 here is what? 2. All right then. So now you have everything intact. What do you do? Let's try to play this part so that we solve this question for the gradient. Don't worry, Mister. You can do this. One. So you see, from here now, you now write this one. Y one minus Y two all of them. X one minus X two. So what do we have here for Y one? We have five minus. What do we have for Y two? We have nine all of them. What do we have for X one? We have one minus. What do we have for X two? We have two. So we can work this one out. We have 5 minus 9. We have what? Negative. Negative 4. All upon here again is negative 1. What happened? Negative cancel negative. It remains 4 by 1. And any number the denominator is 1 is the number itself. Take note. We now have what? Maybe 4. So therefore, the gradient here is 4. And that is the only way you understand this. Because for the value of y, the difference between each here is 4, 4. So your gradient also must be 4. Thank you all. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. And of course, please, don't forget to like. Don't forget again to like and always watch for more tedious videos. Because I still have another video set for graph. And I still have another video set for construction as well. Thank you all. God bless you, students.